welcome in to the latest edition of the SAU Softball Coaches Show. I'm Daniel Gallegos, joined alongside head softball coach Jason Anderson. And coach, final two weekends of the season are, are here. Uh, it's kind of come and gone and almost been a blur sometimes with some of the weather, <laughs> but uh, it's the last home conference weekend that you've got coming up, bringing in Southern Nazarene, the team right there battling for uh, getting into the conference tournament. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the last bit of action your team had the uh, the off weekend more or less in conference play last weekend, so you didn't play any anybody in conference or any games over the weekend. But you still were able to get in four games last week, um, two conference games in the midweek rivalry with UAM split there. Next day you uh, stay on the road and go to Christian Brothers pick up a pair of wins there. Talk about the the week going three and one. Well, it was a good week for us because we had swept Monticello at home. So by, by, by splitting there, of course, we'd like to win too. By splitting there, we at least won the series, and that's what you go into, trying to win every series, which we have not been able to do this year. So that was a good series for us to win. And then staying on the road, it was long, and we got into Memphis late and had to get up and play at one. But they came out and really hit the ball well, and, and we had you know had a great day offensively, got some decent pitching, and so we were able to, to get two wins against a Gulf South Conference team and Christian Brothers, which were two region wins. So I thought... Based on the situation, how we added that game kind of last minute because of all the rainouts we had, we're trying to trying to get as many games as we can. I think that we did really well and uh, and, and showed some fight to come back and win a three-two ball game in the uh, second game against Monticello and then go over there and really win big against Christian Brothers. So uh, definitely a successful week. Anytime you can go win three out of if we win three out of every four that we play, I feel like we're doing well. So yeah, the it was your off weekend in conference play the, this past weekend, and it obviously it rotates for for the schools in the conference. Do you think that having that, that bye weekend, you know, the third to last weekend of the season, so towards the end of the conference season, do you think that benefited your team to kind of you know, maybe get away from, from the game a little bit, you know, the seasons are grind and things like that? Is it a benefit or is it one of those you, you don't really want to have an off weekend? Well, I think so. I think you can look at it two ways. But for us, I think it was definitely beneficial from the fact that uh, we've had a lot of injuries. We've had a lot of uh, a lot of just you know kind of things happen. So I think it, just like you said, it was good to to get that doubleheader sweep on Wednesday and then just step back from the weekend and say let's get caught up on schoolwork. Let's do some things here because you know these kids still got to go to class every day while we're talking about softball all the time. So we've got to get caught up on schoolwork and then come back reset and, and, and set ourselves up for what we have to do this weekend. And then we've got a of course a midweek a midweek game this week and then to close out the conference and, and hopefully uh, build some momentum going into conference tournament. You know, this last weekend coming up, again, the weather's played a factor in it. Um, made the decision made to push back to Sunday and Monday, and you already had a scheduled non-conference game this upcoming Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So now you're talking about, you know, three straight days, six games. Uh, but do you think that's a factor at all? I mean, especially with conference being at the forefront? Well, I think conference being the first two games, you know, the first two days of this three-day series would obviously be there. We would have hated to have played a non-conference and then tried to go into conference and play two. So I think that'll be fine. I mean, but, I mean, I mean, we, we've had the, the Commerce, Texas A&M Commerce game scheduled, another really tough, good region team uh, out of Texas. So, I mean, we're going to definitely play it. We need the games, and, and we'll go over there. We may be a little tired. We may be a little sore, but uh, hopefully we can go over there and battle through and, and pick up a couple wins on the road. That would be good for us. And like I said, it's one of those things where we need the games, so we're, we're going to do what we got to do. And it, it's kind of like a conference tournament setting. If you get a conference tournament, you're going to play Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you're winning, you know, if you're still there, you're going to play three days. So it's that time of year we're going to have to learn to do it, so we're just going to have to get it done. What do you anticipate out of, out of the Southern Nazarene series? Uh, you know, obviously last year you spent in Northwestern Oklahoma, so you're familiar with the conference. But coming in, knowing where where your team's at, where Southern Nazarene's at, what do you expect? I mean, we need to do well. Southern Naz is a good team. They have uh, one really good pitcher that does really well. Has I think she's leading the conference in strikeouts, so she's going to be a good strikeout pitcher. They hit the ball really well. You know, they've shown at times they can score a lot of runs. So we're going to have to we're going to we're going to have to play well. Um, I think that we have them at home will be to our benefit. Obviously, if we can keep the weather to hold off a little bit, we can get the games in. But it's a big series for us. There's about. If you look at the standings, there's about four teams there that are all within percentage points of the four, five to the eight seed, and everybody's just battling. So it's, I mean, you, you're two games here, you're two games there, and you're, I mean, you're you're a four or five game, or you're a one eight game, and it's just a couple games, and all the teams are right there, bunched up. So if we can finish strong, like I expect us to do, and we can put together, you know, get quality pitching, quality defense, and hit the ball like we can, and we could win a series against them, and go on the road and win a series against Swasu, then I like our chances to to help our seeding wise as we go into the conference tournament. You know, one thing not to be overlooked in this final home home series of the year, obviously, uh, it's going to be senior day. Your, your four seniors on the team are going to be playing their final games at Lady Muir Ryder Field. Coming in as a first-year coach, obviously not a whole lot of time to, you know, really 
you know, I'm going to say build a relationship, right. but have that past history right. with those players. But coming in, how much have those four seniors meant to you stepping into a new situation uh, for this program? Oh, they've meant everything. They're, they're, uh, the one thing about our team you'll find out is we're a very good group. I think we've talked about that before. And the seniors, of course, the, the captains and the leaders of that group, they're the ones that keep that cohesiveness together and keep us a real tight group. And uh, Chelsea Ivey, Sarah Higginbotham, Leah Doyle, and Audrey Farfin have been you know, tremendous in, in doing what we do and, and everything. And at times we've had some, some bumps in the road, whether it be our, you know, injuries. And we've had, I mean, we just had a lot of stuff go on. It's kind of been a weird year for things going on with, with injuries and concussions and, and just rain outs and having to move games to Tech when we were supposed to play here and having to go to Rockwall, Texas when we were supposed to play here and just doing a lot of things. And they really kept the unit. Uh, together at times where we could have really, really exploded and you know, and just totally spiraled downhill. We've kind of been able to bounce back and come back and slowly but surely do what we do. So uh, they, they've been key to us this year. They're going to be key for us to finish this year uh, because I really feel like our best ball is yet to come. If we can put it all together and put it all together at the right time, then I think we could really uh, be a tough matchup for somebody come the end of the year. We appreciate it very much for your time. Again, that's head softball coach Jason Anderson. He and his Lady Mule Riders are at home. For the final time in this uh, 2015 regular season, it'll be a four-game series against Southern Nazarene. Again, push back to Sunday, Monday. Sunday's doubleheader starts at 2. Uh, Monday will start at noon, and then Sunday before the doubleheader at 2, we're going to have the senior day ceremonies again, highlighting and honoring the four seniors on this year's team. So, Coach, we appreciate again your time, and best of luck. Thank you.